In times of great conflict, there are a select few who distinguish themselves on the battlefield. Throughout history, the greatest warriors have had titles or awards bestowed upon them for their service. In the United States, the Medal of Honor is recognized as the highest award given for heroism. Today, we will look at one man who rose to that honor. This is Heroes of War. The story of Henry Johnson is tragic, and it starts with him joining the service in June of 1917, where he was assigned to the 369th Infantry Regiment of the New York National Guard. This unit comprised of all black and Puerto Rican members, and is more commonly known by its nickname, the Harlem Hellfighters. Upon arrival in the Western Front of the Great War, Henry and his unit were tasked to the 161st Division of the French Army due to the issue of racism and segregation that persisted among American units. The French Army welcomed them with open arms. Soon, they would see combat. Johnson's unit was assigned to Outpost 20 in the Argonne Forest of France with the duty of observation. Early in the morning on May 14, 1918, Johnson was standing guard when he came under attack by a German raiding party consisting of over 20 combatants. Johnson first repelled the advancing Germans with the few grenades he had, but those quickly ran out, hardly making a dent in the advance. He fired his rifle into the darkness, but he couldn't see his attackers. He was struck by bullets in the face twice, but he kept on firing. As the battle went on, Johnson received more injuries bullets to the ribs, arms, and one in the hand. In the darkness, as he was scrambling to reload his French rifle, he mistakenly put an American round into the chamber, seizing it. The Germans took this advantage to push on Johnson's position, hoping to overwhelm him. Johnson resorted to swinging his now useless rifle as a club, keeping them more than arm's distance away. Luck was running out for Johnson. After his rifle shattered, he received a blow to the head and fell to the ground. When he woke, he saw that Germans were attempting to take his friend and watchmate prisoner. Enraged, Johnson drew his only weapon he had left, a bolo knife. He charged at the Germans, hacking and stabbing as fast as he could. He killed two Germans with his knife before the Germans retreated. Friendly forces had heard the fighting and came to Johnson's defense. Morning came and the forest was quiet once again. Four Germans lay dead and it is believed that every member of the attacking force was wounded by Johnson. Assessing his own body, Johnson had more than 20 bullet or shrapnel wounds. His actions earned him the French Croix de Guerre with the gold palm for extraordinary valor and he was sent home to recover. When he did return home, he was still at war, both with his failing health and continued racism. He died July 29, 1929, due to complications from his prior battle with tuberculosis. He had no children. Support for Johnson grew after he passed away, and in 2002, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. And later, on June 2, 2015, the Medal of Honor was posthumously awarded the Command Sergeant Major of the New York National Guard there to represent him. Sergeant Johnson was an extraordinary man who faced overwhelming odds to fight for what he believed in, and he will surely go down in history as one of America's greatest hero of war. <laughs> 